Hello, good morning. We are the night shift, part of the night shift. I call myself the vampire crane operator. Because I assume duty at 6 o'clock p.m. Finish my duty at 6 a.m. Never see the sun. So right now, the job order for tonight is we are going to install a spool from one of the platforms somewhere here in the east. So you can see on the main deck of this diving support vessel, this is the red one, that is the spool, the pipe, terminology for the oil and gas is spool, its diameter is 555 millimeter inside diameter. Outer diameter is 837, so that means it has a thickness of more than 100 millimeter. The length of the pipe, the spool is 43 meters. The weight is 37 tons. Total weight of rigging, including the sling, the shackles, and the master links, is 38.2 tons. Depth of water to be installed is at 73 meters. So the saturation divers will be waiting for my cargo 30 minutes ahead. They will prepare everything, hydraulics, clamping machines, everything that's needed for the job subsea. Now let me orient you with my crane, the small baby that I handle on board. Actually, we have a two baby. We have a big baby that's a 3,000 metric tons mast crane and this 100 ton knuckle boom active heave compensation crane. So let me orient you. This is my cabin. Cabin, sorry for the speed because they might call anytime. Okay. I have a fire extinguisher and an emergency escape breathing device, a life jacket at my back, and a breathing apparatus in case of H2S alarm. H2S is the hydrogen sulfide, the biggest danger when you are working in the oil and gas industry. So this is my baby. Let me orient you with my crane, small baby. This is my left console. Included is the override, the active heave compensation, and the constant tension functions button. This is my left control joystick. And this is my... Oh, sorry. It's very faint when viewed from a cell phone. So this indicates all my motors. The crane have 14 motors total. Subsea installation require the Ukraine to have uh, active heave compensation 10 meters before landing it on the seabed. And this is my LMI, also known as a RCI, Rated Capacity Indicator or Load Moment Indicator. This gives me the data of everything. Knuckle boom angle, jib angle, my load weight, my radius, active beam compensation percentage, constant tension percentage, and my angle wherein I am in the green zone. Green zone means a subsea crane can use or it is allowed to use this active heap and constant tension function. Guys, this is my right control joystick. It controls the knuckle in, knuckle out, hoist up, hoist down function. This is my emergency stop. In case something happen, God willing, press this emergency stop. This is the alarm console. And then this is the main winch and auxiliary winch. You get to choose whether you use 100 tons, choose the main. Auxiliary line, 10 tons, choose the auxiliary. This is your wind speed, low, medium, and high. Communications, this is my clear comb. Internal communication of the vessel, dive control, bridge, 
main crane, ROV, and the divers. This is my UHF and VHF base. I can go in contact with the deck personnel, the deck foreman, and the engineers. This is my hands-free communication foot pedal. Actually, I have a two foot pedal. This is my for my VHF and UHF, and the other one is for my tugger winch. Tugger winch control the main headache ball in case of heavy weather. Right now, it's a dead calm here in this sea in the east. I'm not allowed to disclose where my location is. So somewhere out there, guys. And most importantly, I'm your crane operator for tonight. They call me Big Rex, Jolly Rex, Dambuhala Rex, Dambo, Rex the Good. It's because the South Africans think that I am the biggest Filipino that they have ever seen. Actually, not think, but According to them, I am the biggest Filipino that they have ever seen. They never thought Filipino could grow like this. So, so safe lifting. God bless. This is my file dated January 2021. This will be part of my files that I will be compiling when I apply as a crane instructor, assessor for offshore crane in the training outfits that I have been prospecting. Right, that's right guys, fellow crane operator. It's not all the time we are at sea. Sometimes you have to think about the future. Safe lifting, God bless. Thank you.